Hello Juniors and welcome back to Computer Systems and Programming. For this video we're going to review the programming process again but this time we're going to be going over the pseudocode. So like I stated in the video I did update this activity prompt a little bit. There are all of your um, points that you need to hit for the final project. I went over them in the video so I won't go over them again. So down here once you have your objective and algorithm done you should have submitted it and I will give you feedback if you need some um, tweaking on it. Once you got your feedback, you can uh, start taking the algorithm that you wrote and adding what code we need to complete each step. So this is similar to when we say, hey, I need, in one step of our algorithm, we might say, I need to input the name of the person. Well, what we're going to use is we're going to use the input function, which is a function within Python that allows us to input information from the user. So that's just what you have to write. Step one, input, use the input function to get the name from the user. So some tips, really take time to research what are the best way of doing things. Each programming language has different functions and variables available. Make sure you find the function or variable that is best suited for what you are trying to do. So like how Python has all of those different types of data, data structures. So it has, it was like the dictionaries and tuples and lists. Each of those has a specialty that makes it useful. So if you had done that research, you would know how you could use those uh, different data structures to uh, complete your project better. And don't just copy and paste your algorithm. Make sure you are looking up functions that Python has and adding those to your pseudocode. So you can start with your algorithm, but then add the things that you're trying to do. So you're using the input function. You're going to develop this function. You're going to use these different things to complete what you're trying to do. You're going to use an int variable. You're going to use a Boolean variable, that kind of stuff. So if we go back to our project, which was to create a shopping cart, we can go to the pseudocode. So now that we have our algorithm, we can write out what types of variables or functions we would like to use for each step. So for the first step, we'd use the input function to get the name from the user. Then we would use the second step, we would use the input function to get the price. The third, we'll use a while loop, which is a special type of loop different than a for loop. Uh, that will repeat until the user is done inputting items. For the fourth step, we can use two lists. So we're not using dictionaries, we're not using tuples, we're using lists. That's specific because we want to use these lists because of its attributes. So one will store the names and the other will store prices. We'll use append to add names and prices to onto the list. For the fifth step, we can use a function that will take the price of the list as a parameter. So, or it will take the price list. So this, we're gonna create this function that that list that we made that has all the prices, it'll take it as a parameter and it'll sum the whole list. It'll use this sum function and then it'll sum the whole list and then we'll return the total value. And then for the sixth step, we can use another function to calculate the tax. Uh, we can have a parameter for the total so it'll bring in the total, and then we'll use simple math to calculate the tax, and then we can return the tax. And then for the seventh step, we add the tax and total together to get the final total. And then for the eighth step, we use a while loop and print statement to print out all the items, names, then cost, one by one. And then we finally, with the ninth step, print out the total, tax, and then final total. So following these steps, which are very uh, clear, you could write your whole program without any problems. You could go step by step and be like, okay, I'll write this. Okay, now I'll write this. So make sure your pseudocode is very well written because then when we start talking about actually coding your project, you'll be well on your way to completing it. All you have to do is change the syntax a little bit because if you notice with each of these steps, they're kind of in order. But all we need to do is write it so that Python understands it instead of us understanding it. 
So again, for release eight, eight, you submitted your objective and algorithm. Using that and the comments that I've provided, you'll do release nine and submit your pseudocode. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you know my email and then submit this before spring conference so that you can get all the feedback that you need for spring conference. All right, juniors, I'll see you later.